I can tell you when uh, Al and I first got into this, when the president first asked us to do it, we thought we were doing this for our 15 grandkids, my nine and his six. But the more we looked at the numbers, the more we realized we weren't doing it for our grandkids. We weren't even doing it for our kids. We were doing it for us. That's how serious the situation is today. It is going to destroy our country from within if we don't wake up and come together. I'm going to tell you now our five biggest challenges that we face. And if any politician doesn't talk to you about those five challenges, then they're not willing to stand up to the big issues we face. Our number one challenge is health care. We spend twice as much as any other developed country in the world on health care. This year, we spent 25% of the budget on health care. In five years, we'll be spending a third. Second biggest issue we face is defense. We spend more on national defense than the next 15 largest countries combined. The third biggest issue that Angus is going to face is our tax code. We have the most inefficient, ineffective, globally anti-competitive tax code that man could dream up. You could not design a stupider one if you really tried. <laughs> so we got to fix this tax code so we are globally competitive so we can compete for the jobs of tomorrow. The fourth principal challenge we face is Social Security. And if we don't do something, Social Security, the trust fund, will go busted. It's just math. By 2033, we have to solve it. We have to make Social Security sustainably solvent so it's not a false promise, so it'll be there for you. And the last, the fifth issue that Angus is going to have to deal with is just the reality of compound interest. We're spending about $250 billion a year on interest payments. Now, that's at today's current low rates. Even at $250 billion, that's more than we spend at the Department of Commerce, Education, Energy, Homeland Security, Justice, Interior, and State combined. So what we tried to do to sum it up was to put forward a reasonable, responsible, bipartisan plan that would reduce the federal deficit by four trillion dollars over the next decade. And we got a majority of Republicans, a majority of Democrats, and a supermajority of our commission to vote for it. And they did it because they knew it was the right thing to do. It was the responsible thing to do for the country. And so why I came here was not just because I love Angus King, or not just because coming to Maine is like a joy to me. I came here to try to get you to think about this and think about it realistically. We're running out of money. Now we gotta start thinking. We gotta have people up there who are willing to make for tough choices, the hard political choices. I'm confident if we do, America's future is very, very bright. That we can compete with the best and brightest wherever they are. But I'm equally confident if we don't, that we're on a path to becoming a second-rate power before you know it.